In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a PayPal donation button to your WordPress site quickly and easily. And in fact, this works for any site, not just WordPress. And there's even a way to just get a link that you include in emails that you send out. But either way, we're creating the PayPal donate button and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's make this PayPal donate button so you can start taking donations. I'll see you in the screen capture. To create a PayPal donation button, you obviously have to have a PayPal account. Not every PayPal account has PayPal donation buttons. Most of them do. So if these steps don't work for you, a good plan is to call PayPal support and have them look into it and have them switch your account to one that accepts donations. This one does. There's a My Business Setup link here. We wanna click on that. And my PayPal account does this weird thing where it's got two different designs depending what section I go into. I don't know why, but that's how it is. And we wanna to get to the Payment Buttons area. So we're gonna click on Option B here, then click Create a Payment Button. And now on this page, there's some settings. And the very first one is choose a button type. Shopping cart, buy now, donations, which is the one we want, subscriptions, automatic billing, installment plan. Your options may vary depending on which type of PayPal account you have. So I'm gonna click on donations to get the donations going. We have to enter a name. So I'm gonna type in WP Learning Lab, donation ID, which is just assigned to, to the button, it's optional. It's just for your tracking. Here we can customize it a little bit. There's not much customization we can do. You can have the credit card icons on or off. You can have a small button or a big button. You can change the language or you can use your own button image. You have to have it uploaded to your site or somewhere else. Then you put the URL in here. You can have your own image. I just use a PayPal button. I display the credit cards, I make it big. And then you choose your currency. The contribution amount lets you set whether the donors will enter how much they want to donate. So it'll just be a blank field where they enter a number, or you can have a fixed amount. So maybe you always want $5 as a donation. So you can enter that there or let them enter their own. Here's a very important note about the donation button. The donation button is only for nonprofits. So if you are not a nonprofit and you raise more than 10 grand, you have to demonstrate to PayPal how your donations are gonna be used, and then they will decide if they approve of those uses or not. So donations are a bit of a sticky area. So if you're not a nonprofit, a simple way around that is to change this to a buy now button and just give people something of value for free as a bonus and just tell them the situation. Tell them this, you could actually paste this note right in there. I'm not a nonprofit, but I want to give you the ability to donate and you can buy now and get this thing for free. And it's essentially just a donation. So that's one way you could get around it if you wanted to. Step two, we save the button at PayPal. This is usually how I would do it. Step three, this is where you have some advanced options to set. The first one is special instructions to the seller. So this will give them a box they can fill out if they donate. If you don't want them to be able to fill out instructions for you, check no. Do you need their shipping address for their donation? Probably not. Do you want to take customers to a different URL if they cancel their donation? This might be smart because then you can have them go to a page where it says, hey, how come you canceled? We could really use those funds. We're going to buy a new such and such to help homeless dogs in our city. So please reconsider. So you can take them to a special page that tries to save the donation. You can also take them to a special URL after they check out. This would be a great place for a thank you page. And with the advanced variables, you can have personalizations on the destination pages if you want to. It's not something I often do. It's gonna uncheck these because I don't have any pages there. But once you have all that set up, click on the yellow or orange create button. And then we get some button code. This first box is embed code for the website. The second one is a link for an email. So I'm gonna choose this first one because we're gonna put it on this website. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go to a page, add new. I'm gonna call the page Help Our Cause. And then I'm just gonna paste in the donation code down there and then click on publish and then view the page. And we have a PayPal donation button. Clearly you wanna add some text here or have some kind of nicely designed template where the donation button exists, but that's not what this video was about. This video is about getting the donation button onto the page and here it is. If you click on donate, it takes them to a PayPal page, which is branded with your business or your nonprofit. They can enter how much they want to donate here. I think 15,000 is a smart amount to donate. And then they can click on this little obscure continue link to donate with the credit card, or they can click log into PayPal to donate through PayPal. 
and that donation is then put into your PayPal account, and that's the end of the story. That's how easy it is to create the PayPal donate button. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that appear on the right hand side so you get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.